Attorneys now say they have a second whistleblower who backs up assertions made in the presidential impeachment inquiry. People around the president, mm -hmm. professionals who are in the Oval Office, who are uh, in the Situation Room, are watching what is happening and are finally saying, my God, this cannot happen anymore, and they are coming forward. This comes as the president now making calls on other world leaders. China should start an investigation into the Bidens, because what happened in China is just about as bad as what happened with uh, with Ukraine. It is now known both the call to China and the Ukraine were stored on the same secure server. Now attorneys for both whistleblowers say this new accuser works in the intelligence community and has firsthand knowledge that supports the claims made by the first whistleblower. Reaction from the White House coming in a statement from the press secretary saying it doesn't matter how many people decide to call themselves whistleblowers about the same telephone call, a call the president already made public. It doesn't change the fact that he has done nothing wrong. But cracks are being seen in a united Republican front. Senator Susan Collins joining Senators Mitt Romney and Ben Sass in rebuking the president. It's completely inappropriate. Senator Mitt Romney reacting to President Trump's China request, calling it brazen, wrong, and appalling. Now, for those Republicans who've been staying quiet during all these developments, expect pressure to ramp up in the next week as they return to work in the Capitol. It'll be much more difficult for them to dodge questions about this quickly unfolding probe. Live in the newsroom, I'm Kirsten Cole.